but I mean, I think we've gone from the biggest winner of the um, US presidential presidential election to the biggest loser, um, which yeah. is, of course, Miss Kamala the cop Harris. Um, I am still uh, routinely giddy from drinking all the tears of people upset about this um because almost invariably they're like the worst people on earth um it's it's really funny and they did what everyone widely you know kind of knew instinctively they would do and they immediately resolved to not learn any lessons from her loss and are sticking to the line that she was a perfect candidate and her campaign was quote unquote flawless now um, that, that that phrase crops up a lot, and we'll get into this in a minute. But first, Alex, we are going over this article called How Kamala Harris Plowed Through $1 Billion During Her Campaign. Like, that is astonishing, an amount of money. It's a lot of money. for a can It's a lot more money than Donald Trump had. A lot more. Yeah. And it is not at all clear what any of this money was actually spent on. Um, she allegedly, for that um, Call Her Daddy interview that she did, they spent like six figures on this really cheap looking set. Like she did this podcast interview and they like built a set for it at enormous expense. Really? For, like a 20 minute, for, like a 20 minute podcast or something crazy. Um, yeah. And it was like, yeah, that they, they just spent ast astonishing amounts of money on nothing. And the worst campaign in in modern, at least my um, memory, uh, like that, just just so bad. Um, and liberal liberals just couldn't see that because you know um, Trump was doing things like how having Elon Musk to do a, a speech at a campaign fundraising event, and ooh, he said some very extreme things. You know, like, like this is this is what we were hearing in the lead up to this. This is how Trump has lost the election and why Kamala is going in strong because yeah. of people like that racist comedian at the Madison Square Garden event. And then in the end, it didn't matter at all. No, like at all. Like it was really, really stunning. So yeah, um, she seems to have spent an, an astonishing amount of money. Is still soliciting funds. Um, but is also seeking per this strange magazine I've never heard of before called Puck, um, uh, states that uh, it, it, the Harris campaign, it, the, the Harris financial juggernaut is seeking buyers for its email lists in order to stave off debts. So how did it raise a billion and still get into debt? This is crazy. Yeah. Where's all the money gone? And Kamala, who... If this was this was just again, you couldn't write this. And if it was in like some, if it was in like Veep, you'd think that this was like too ludicrous. Where like ha, ha, the Harris's campaign called all of the people who were stupid and delusional enough to vote for Kamala Harris to attend a public event at which she was speaking after the scale of her loss became apparent. And then at the very last minute, with large crowds gathered to hear her talk, she just cancelled it, and it didn't go ahead. Yeah, and like like these large crowds who come out to hear her speak after having voted for it and got told to fuck off, like without any consideration for their feelings or um, the, the the optics of this. And I've seen pictures of her playing Jenga with her children, um, <laughs> like like circulating in that because she hasn't really appeared publicly. And I hope they let her win. <laughs> because this is like some this is like some like some some comic book origin story of like the failed presidential candidate who became like a killer or something yeah. like you know what i mean having yeah. had like all of that hype about how she was brilliant which continues now turn out to be absolute rubbish it was like her, one of the her, most crushing the most crushing we were told it was like the knife edgiest election in history and she got uh, the democrats got crushed like comprehensively yeah. every level yeah, like, and like, I that's mean, cra it's crazy. The scare, what, and, and, and like all of the polls were saying that she could win it, and all this other stuff. It's an astonishing victory, and I'm yes, gonna. Well, I, eject, I mean, I think it was eject myself with their crying um, over this because it's so <laughs> it's so funny watching them be unable to work out why they lost when it's so clear. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. 
Well, I mean, they were facing a really strong candidate for one with a very weak candidate who skipped the primary process, which is, you know, supposed to be the vetting process for, you know, as to whether how, how, how good. Twice. Yeah. Well, and in the first one, she, I don't think she got it a single, uh, a single yeah, she, she, delegate. She, she, in, she terminated in the campaign. She terminated her campaign before the primaries began. Because it was right, going, so it, was like launched with all, it was launched with all of this hype for like no particular, no clear reason beyond the fact that she was a former prosecutor, and yeah. then she just crashed out because she gave like embarrassing public public appearances. And it's like I made this point um, on another on a separate um, podcast, but don't worry, Alex, I'm not being um, unfaithful to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, that basically that uh, like the thing the, the problem with Harris is she's like the perfect puppet. Right. But she's been elevated to all of these positions, like way beyond her intelligence or talent level, because she's a total idiot and she'll do or say anything that she's told. Right. So yeah. but the problem is, is that when you groom an idiot for high office, you're left with a total idiot. And it's like, it, it, and I saw all of this stuff where, like, again, these liberal pundits were saying, like, well, you know, the, the, the groundwork that Kamala is putting in is astonishing. She's doing all of these town hall events and like all of these public appearances across the country, including particularly in swing states. And it's like, but what is the point of her doing public appearances if this hurts her? Yeah. Like, 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 like it, it, you know what I mean? It makes her look worse each time that she opens her mouth publicly. Well, like, she ran on it, this image of uh, of being, you know, joyful and uh, and oh. happy go lucky, um, which I think really harmed her because everyone could kind of see beneath it that she uh, was probably quite shrewd when the cameras were off. Um, no, she wasn't, Alex. Alex, so just really quickly as well on this point, you know how sure. we, uh, pre we have previously on active measures, right, gone over how one of like Kamala's fellow when she was a prosecutor. One of her aides like set up like a secret Masonic police force, like and and and, and like and it was like really weird and sinister. Like one of her key staffers, and then went around trying to like launch chapters around the country. This Masonic police force. That's right. Yeah. So weird. I, but, 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 but I found out the other day, right? So she has this. She has this like hateful background as a crooked prosecutor. It's not even true. Like if you actually look at her prosecutorial record, she prosecuted like very, very, very few cases. Like, like right? it, it was like, yeah, but, but she was basically elevated to be the public face of a corrupt prosecution operation. All the work was done by others. She was just like in, she was like an idiot, like some useful idiot in the role to just yeah. be there publicly. And it's like, that is low. Like you're not yeah. even a corrupt prosecutor. <laughs> it's like, 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 I mean, it, you know, you have talent to fuck up on a massive scale <laughs> when like, yeah. that is your professional background. Oh my Christ. But, but, but yeah. So anyway, if you, there is a, as I say, um, and Donald Trump has been mocking the Democrats for all of their, their just insane spending. I, I think something that really jumped out to me right was how basically yeah so do you want to read out alex trump says i am very surprised that the democrats who fought a hard and valiant fight in the 2020 presidential election raising a record amount of money didn't have lots of money left over now they're being squeezed by vendors and others whatever we can do to help them during this difficult period i would strongly recommend we as a party and for the sake of desperately needed unity do we have a lot of money left over in that our biggest asset in the campaign was earned media, and that doesn't cost very much. Make America great again. Oh he's back. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I mean that's that's like epic. Um I know I mean, he has been he has been missed. Um <laughs> to to be fair. Um but yeah, like I mean, I, I just think that the um it, 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 what th this touches on what the, like something I really yeah I wanted to get into neatly is that basically if you look at um th there is this recurrent narrative in the media that's been spoken all over these liberal news shows quote unquote and talk shows if you go on if you go onto the uh, the Twitter links Alex so mm -hmm. there is like the, the phrase flawless cops up a lot in respect of Kamala she's she was a flawless candidate. Um, in respect of a campaign, it was flawlessly run. This is we've heard this, yeah. So yeah, play this video. Play this video. 
And I think it's important to say that, you know, anyone who has experienced or been in the United States for any period of time and experienced this country's history and knows it cannot have believed that it would be easy to elect a woman president, let alone a woman of color. Mm -hmm. Let's just be clear. Mm -hmm. And nothing that was true yesterday about how flawlessly this campaign was run is not true now. Mm -hmm. I mean, this really was an historic flawlessly run campaign. She had, Queen Latifah never endorses anyone. She came out and endorsed them. You know, I mean, we, she had every prominent celebrity voice. She had the, she had the, uh, the Taylor Swifty to the Swifties. She had the Beehive. Like you could not have run a better campaign in that short period of time. And I think that's still mm -hmm. true. And I think it's important to say yeah. that, you know. Yeah, so stop, stop, stop. That's wild, yeah. man. No, no, no. And if you go down, if you go down to the next clip, Whoopi Goldberg basically says exactly the same thing. It's it's like spooky. It's like it's like they've gotten their marching orders. Um, it's 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 go out and spin this narrative. Aside from buck naked dancing on the top of the table, I don't know what else she could have done. I think she could have done more. I think she left it all out on the field. Mm -hmm. I think she raised a billion dollars in three months. I think that she uh, did. She ran a flawless campaign, and I maintain that. I think now it's the time for us to work. Aside from buck naked dancing yeah. on the that's yeah. wild, man. I yeah. mean, I just love yeah. how they how they tout these celebrity endorsements. Like like half these people mm -hmm. aren't aren't reviled. You know, but this is the but this is this is the exact point that I wanted to make, right? Is that I, I what I think is really interesting is that according to the white liberal mindset, right? According to like wealthy white liberal mindset, Kamala Harris did run a flawless campaign because you know she said lots of nice sounding things, she didn't make any like really egregious public gaffes. She didn't say anything overtly racist. Yeah. She did really all of the things that liberals think are like really important and what prompts them to vote. She was like hit, she, she hit every nail on the head, right? Um, from the perspective of what people actually care about and vote for, and just more generally, like, you know, the attributes that people look for in political, in political candidates. Um, yeah, like it, 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 she was obviously going to lose. Now, I know a lot of people personally, including people I credited with more intelligence to fall for this rubbish, that, that who genuinely thought she was in with a shot. And it's like, look, the, 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 the mainstream media was openly editing her interviews to make her sound like less of a moron. And like only I, I saw one op ed in some obscure newspaper that said, Doing that and then being forced to admit it, this is why people don't trust the media, right? And it's like, yeah, like, the, you know, it, the, the, a lot of things, a lot of kind of uh, Trump controversies um, are only known to, like, hardcore politicos, which is this tiny percentage of the population. Like, they don't yeah. know about all of this, like, toing and froing. And I heard, you know, like, from the liberal perspective, um, yeah, uh, some racist comedian making some unfunny and deeply unpleasant jokes um at a trump organized event oh right well that's harris harris has got it in the bag now yeah now that that's happened he's finished like you know from from their perspective um but then like you know you have owen jones um some he is Whoa. a uh sorry it's just just i mean just his tweet is just like so perfect like please go on to it because i've been wanting to read it to, to the to the audience for a week now or however long it is, a few days. Yeah, so this is Owen Jones, who is a British, make it smaller, Alex. Can you? I'm trying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Owen Jones is this kind of like this fake, yeah, yeah, he's like this fake left-wing journalist who like pretends to be really radical, but then when it actually comes to it, takes the establishment line on things. And so he was in New York to like cover the election while probably getting pissed at like the city's best gay bars. And um, yeah, like... He goes, I'm going, and this is after the scale of, uh, of Kamala's defeat has been writ large by the results. He says, I'm going back to my hotel in New York with a Muslim Pakistani American cab driver, dot, 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 who voted for Donald Trump because prices were too high under Biden, quote, unquote. And it's like, that is not only speech marks indicating a, an alleged quote, 
but it is mocking what he said as well, right? You understand that, like, yeah. like, like it, 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 it is, it is about denigrating that idea. If you look at polls, and as we've discussed before, the Biden administration has has openly again um, sought to um, redefine in how inflation is measured, um, to to conclude there's no inflation when goods are like 25, 30 percent more like than they were a year ago, right? Like basic consumer essentials. Um, and like, you know, but then they also changed the definition of a recession so they could claim the US wasn't in a recession. And then they admitted they did this. And yeah. it's like, who could possibly trust them or any of their media lackeys after that? Like, you know, it, it, no one's listening to them. The, the, the entire, like America's, the we entire Western liberal elite has been living in, in, this, in, in this, this fantasy alternative reality for four years. They're believing their own hype. And like well, and, and and writing writing apparently seriously is Biden, Clark Kent or Superman. Yeah, like you, well, I, that, that was an actual op-ed headline in the Hill. Yeah, it's like senile, corrupt, racist, vile piece of shit. Career politician who like everything he has done in politics is to, to make people's lives worse. And we were told he was the second coming of FDR. Yeah, like, you know what I mean, and they and people believe this. People like Owen Jones believe this, no matter their criticisms. He was still doing a damn fine job. Well, I th I think that Biden, you know, he may have been forced out, but that would not have happened if the math was mathing correctly. So I think that the <laughs> Democrats looked at his approval rating and saw that he was going to lose to Trump, and so they got him out. And then yeah. what does Kamala do? She goes on TV and she refuses to name a single thing she would do differently. Yes. It, 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 it's madness. Um, and I love, I love that clip that you put in of them saying, oh, well, she got the Queen Latifah endorsement. Yeah. Like it's, because, it's because fucking them, brilliant. Because I mean, the last thing is, 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 is to, to, to them, that's really important. Yeah. Like, 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 like to them, um, Dick Cheney, and like Republican fucking um, uh, veterans and, and old hands endorsing her, that's like, oh, she, oh, what, she, again, she's got it in the bag. She's got it in the bag. Like, you know what I mean? With Cheney's and, and can, endorsement. Like, can, they, th can, they think this is really important. Go on. Can you picture them pointing the fingers at like B list celebrities for not endorsing <laughs> her? Like, where was Flava Flav? We needed you, Flav. <laughs> Ja Rule, ja Rule, like, I yeah, mean, really, the ja Rule, the man. Kamala supporter. I, I mean, just it just goes on, it, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. The Spice Girls, like, you know, it's yeah. just, yeah, if you go, so you just go on to that last, just to close out this, this section, this, this rant discussion, as I coined it. Yeah, I think this is quite interesting. It's an excerpt from a Rolling Stone article, and, and, I am color me shocked at its content. So a Democratic operative close to Harris World says they sent memos and data to Harris campaign staffers underscoring how, among other things, Republican voters, believe it or not, vote Republican. And the data over the past year screamed that Democrats instead needed to reassure and energize the liberal base and de dem leaning working class in background states. We were told basically to get lost, no thank you, says the political operative. Again, I am Kit's total lack of shock that they would that they would do this because it's like the, the, as we've discussed, as we've discussed before, the reason that Biden won is they managed to to, to convincingly lie to enough uh, left leaning working class um, people in the U.S. that they were going to do something, and they've made everything worse. And so it's like it, 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 you know, it, 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 they were they weren't going to be voting for um, Kamala this time. And I have you know greatly enjoyed you know watching people like um, the Revolutionary Blackout Network, um, you know, like like just tear into all of these liberals crying and claiming it was because you know she was a uh, a black woman and that's why she lost. And it's like no, it was the fucking Gaza genocide, bitch. Like 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 really. Oh, we we just Come needed on. Flo Rida. 
Flo Rida yeah, cost that, was, that would put her over the top. That would have put her over the top. <laughs> I think I think we should start an anti flow rider campaign and like have like angry people outside his house. Like send yeah. journalists there. The man yeah. the man who lost it for Kamala. <laughs> uh, hey everyone, um if you enjoyed this video or or any of our other content, uh please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It'll help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.